Welcome to USMLEFastTrack.com. The section we're going to talk about today is from First Aid for the USMLE Step 1, 2013 edition. Page 203. What is type 4 hypersensitivity? Type 4 hypersensitivity, which is also known as delayed T-cell mediated hypersensitivity, is the only hypersensitivity that is not antibody mediated, but rather a cell mediated reaction. In this hypersensitivity, what happens is that sensitized T lymphocytes will encounter an antigen, and then it will cause a release of lymphokines. This will lead to macrophage activation. What are some examples of type 4 hypersensitivity? Some examples of type 4 hypersensitivity include transplant rejection as well as contact dermatitis. What is the mnemonic to help you remember that type 4 hypersensitivity is the delayed type hypersensitivity? The mnemonic is to remember fourth and last, and this is the delayed. So the last one is the delayed hypersensitivity reaction. What are the four T's to help you remember type 4 hypersensitivity? The four T's include T lymphocytes, transplant rejection, TB skin test, and touching to help you remember contact dermatitis. What are the diagnostic tests for type 4 hypersensitivity? The diagnostic test includes PPD and the patch test. PPD is what they do for contact dermatitis, whereas the patch test is the TB skin test. What is the mnemonic to help you remember all four of these hypersensitivities? The mnemonic is to remember the word ACID. A stands for anaphylactic and atopic for type 1 hypersensitivity. C stands for cytotoxic or antibody mediated, which is that type 2 hypersensitivity. I stands for immune complex or type 3 hypersensitivity. And D is for delayed or cell mediated type 4 hypersensitivity. For more information on this topic, click on the link in the description section below. For a full USMLE Step 1 review, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com where we help you review the entire first aid for the USMLE Step 1 with high quality videos and hundreds of detailed pictures for a better understanding of the material. So to learn from the best USMLE review book, be sure to check us out at usmlefasttrack.com.